everyone, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, in this exciting tutorial, we are going to build a Langchain agent that um, is going to create email drafts for us with our Gmail API credentials um, uh, in order to create the emails, save the emails, and even send the emails um, to anybody that we want to send the emails to. So this tutorial builds on top of the tutorial that I released two weeks ago, where we had a, a Langchain agent tied to uh, a web search um, a toolkit where we could have a chat and ask the large language model that had memory, uh, where Paris is located, how many uh, people live in Paris, and, and so on and so on and so on. It's just a back and forth chat. The code for this video is right here uh, that you can download and actually run locally on your computer. But in this tutorial, we're going to add uh, the Gmail API to it. So instead of a chatbot, we're going to create uh, uh, an, uh, an age, a line chain agent um, email assistant. So they're going to create emails on our behalf um, based on the prompts that we give it. All right. So to get started, I recommend going to my GitHub. Uh, the app that we're going to build today with uh, Python and Dash is all right here. So make sure to download this if you want to follow along while we do the video uh, together. App.py, go here and just download. Obviously, love it. Stay, um, um, uh, star the uh, GitHub repository, like on YouTube, and join the Charming Data community. Here is where I release videos and we work together as a community um, to learn uh, Python and AI while we work on monthly projects together. We have the main monthly project, which is around art artistic compensation and um, it's free, it's open, and I'd love to see you there. All right, so let's get back to our tutorial. I'm going to send all these tabs I'm going to share with you under the video so you can have access to. In this case, let's go to the Gmail uh, toolkit um, documentation in Langchain. Uh, I would recommend first installing these um, uh, libraries, right? Pip install uh, Google Auth, uh, HTTP, Google API, and this one as well, Beautiful Soup, and this one right here as well, because you're going to need this in order to run uh, the app. Also, this you need to install as well. So I already installed everything into my virtual environment. And now that I have everything installed, uh, we're going to build the app with all this code. It's pretty much copy paste of all the code that you see here with a little bit more of uh, Dash so you can see the app on the web, right? It's not in the back end. It's not going to be in the terminal only. It's going to be on the web. Uh, OK, so the first thing it says, we have to um, go and set up our credentials in the Gmail API docs. So if you click on Gmail API docs, it'll take you here. The first thing we need to do before we set up credentials is actually enable the API. Enable API, Gmail API. And now we're going to confirm project, enable. And once this API is enabled, now we scroll down because we need to get our credentials. You'll see in the documentation, we need to download the credentials.json file, or at least that's the name we give it. All right, so it's enabled. Now let's go back to Gmail API docs. Oops, we have that here actually. Go to credentials. Let's make sure we are on the right account. Okay, so now that we are on the right account, credentials. Now we need to, let's see what it says. Create credentials, auth client ID. Create credentials, auth client ID. Application type desktop app. Consent, configure consent screen, application type. So we'll say this is, uh, anybody can use it. Let's say external, maybe internal is better. I don't remember what I did last time to prepare for this video. Let's call it charming data app, uh, user support email, tutorial, that's fine. Don't need a logo, app domain, we'll skip all that. Email only. Gmail okay, save and continue. Don't need users. Perfect. I think everything is set. Back to dashboard. All right. 
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to um, add credentials. So create credentials, auth client ID, application type, desktop app. There we go. Desktop client one, let's call that the default. And once we have that, um, now we will need to create a uh, clean click. OK, we have all that. OK, we got all that. download JSON. This is what you need. Download the JSON file. I'm going to have it here. I'm going to copy it. Insert. But we'll call it credentials.json. Copy. Rename credentials. I think it's already .json because it's a JSON file. So we'll do like that. OK, now we have our credentials. So now let's see if it runs. We'll go back to the app and we will click on um, CD Gmail. Let's go to the oops, CD Gmail. So we're inside our Gmail folder and now let's run the app.py. Let's see what it does. Python app.py. Tutorial email only. Continue. The authentication flow has completed. You may close this window. If you encounter any problems um, like user authentication, make sure to go back here to auth consent screen and add user. You got to add your email address as the user <coughs> or just wait a few minutes. It might solve itself as well. All right, so we can close this window. Let's go back to the app. I'm actually using the latest pip install dash equals equal 2.17.0. All right, so we have our app. Now let's try and test it. We'll go back to here. Let's do this. Let's copy this long prompt. Create a Gmail draft of the email for me to a real estate agency called Mike Castles, whose email address tutorial email to the email will ask the agency information about the current housing and prices and request a meet a time to meet submit. All right, I've created a draft email for you to real estate agency. And this is the email. Dear Mike Castles, I hope you find it well. I'm interested. So now we're going to say, could you please provide me information? And you will see if you go to the um, inbox, this should exist here in a couple of seconds. Draft. There we go. Here's our email draft that was created by the Langchain agent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know what? We're going to test the memory out. We're going to say, please update the last sentence to suggest a meeting time on Monday at 10 a.m. So now it's thinking, it's thinking. You can see the thinking process here as well in the back end in the terminal. And then we're going to output the response and uh, the message. So let's see. There we go. I have updated the last sentence to 10 a.m. And here we see I would like to schedule a meeting. Would you be able to meet next Monday at 10 a.m.? Perfect. Best regards, Adam. We can actually go back to the email and see. This should have been updated with another draft, draft number two, with this last sentence updated next Monday at 10 a.m., just like it said here. And now we can actually send it. I feel good with it. I'm going to say, thank you. Please send the email. Now, when you send the email, see that it works, submit. Now that we send the email, you'll see the email has been sent successfully. So. Uh, it's hard to see here. I don't think it's possible to see here that a draft has been sent. At least last time it didn't work. But if you go to the tutorial email two, where this email was sent to, there we go. Mike Castles received the email in his personal fictitious email address asking Adam for, um, you know, you know the, the meeting at 10 a.m. So there you have it. We have connected to a Gmail API using the Langchain agent that has memory and that can draft emails for us. In the next video, I'm going to create, add to this video, a pandas agent. We're going to go here. We're going to add the pandas uh, toolkit. I mean, right here. Pandas, 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 data frame toolkit. 
And this data frame, this agent is going to uh, analyze data sets that we give it. And then we're going to say, send the analysis within an email to my professor or to my friend, right? Or to my colleague or to my boss. And that email will be sent um, uh, the way we want it to be sent in our draft and everything. Uh, but it's kind of cool because we're going to see this with another agent that's playing around with pandas. All right. I know there's a lot of information, but trust me, if you watch the videos from, from two videos ago, I'll put it up here on the screen to the right. Um, you'll be it's a lot easier to understand the dash app with the callback and the layout. Uh, and then in this video, we really add the, the Gmail um, API and the token, which is pretty much explained very well in the uh, Langchain documentation, right? It explains everything. But I'm happy to help if you have any questions. Um, just put your comments under the video.